Well, and we're back. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. It didn't seem to be recording. So this is the last thing I have. Um, now, as you can see, everything looks very smooth and also scribbly. So I'm just kind of two things going on at once here. Um, Crazy Stick People is always done in like pixelated MS Paint, PowerPoint. And then many, many years went by, they didn't make any. And I just thought out of the blue, some people were saying they really missed it and wondered what, you know, if I was ever going to make one again and stuff like that. And it meant a lot to me. And so at the time, I had gotten pretty proficient in PowerPoint and Photoshop. And I was like, I'm going to take, oh, and also MS Paint kind of stopped existing. I think it's back now, but they've really made it not a pixel art program anymore. As far as I could tell, it's mimicking a Photoshop, um, but more bare bones. But anyway, it just didn't do what I wanted it to do anymore. It didn't have the look I wanted either. So the only thing I could think of was, you know, use Photoshop, bring it into the next decade and also do all the animations instead of in PowerPoint in an actual like movie making software. Like at the time I had iMovie and I think now I have something called like Shortcut. But anyway, back then, like I was going to use iMovie and I was going to have my friends record all the voices and I was going to like officially designate different people to different characters. And I don't think I was only going to do it once, but it's going to kind of show what I guess I always wish the show would end up both becoming. And I was going to put my whole heart into it. I never got done because it just felt like a lot of work and my life was a lot busier than it was when I started the Crazy Stick People. But this is the bare bones of it. I have the whole like rough draft written out. It's all numbered based on how each of their um, expressions were going to change and what dialogue boxes were going to pop up and what things were going to be said by people um, during the animation. So let's just run through really quick. And this is kind of it. So that thing you just saw, this is what the refined-ish version was going to look like. This is what the bare bones, um, like Cliff Notes version was like. So anyway, we got yellow and blue. I designated with color that he was going to be blue. Um, we have a message here. Eh? Wait a minute. Uh, does this seem strange to you? Something does seem off. Like, that's so cute. Oh, I got it. It's a huge time gap since the last episode, not to mention the technological advancements we've suddenly undergone. This is not the pixelated MS Paint world that we originated from. So while he's talking, this was going to be Blue's face, like, Meh. and then he's going to smile at him, and then he's going to be like, no, there's something eerie. Also, notice that he's just a floating head because I was too lazy to draw his body. I just, that's cute. Anyway, is it the voices? So they're supposed to be you know, recorded voices. Nah, I figured we'd start hearing them eventually. That's cute. Anyway. Um, that? Yeah, that. Let me pan them to the right and then this thing would appear. And uh, that was going to be the end of that. And then like, it would be like the crazy stick people back for a special abrupt moment. Here's all the characters looking cute. And uh, then you get a message. Uh, I stopped color designating, but I can I know what color these characters will be. This is yellow, this is blue still. They're still talking. Um, oh yes, we have a few special messages. Happy birthday, Cammy. I can say it better. Happy birthday, sweetheart. And he was going to like blow her a kiss and stuff. And then yellow was going to go, ew. And uh, so then you get to see Jeannie give a birthday message to Camille and it's like, Cam. May your birthday be magical. Who wrote this? <laughs> and then Alien is holding his script, but it, he's like, oh, my script is blank, guys. And on the other side, it says, Cammy, you're out of this world. And he's just like, um, hi. And he's just looking all cute and bashful. Clearly my favorite character. And um, I don't even know why I put green here to designate that this is Alien, but I didn't. If you look back, purple because it's Genie. But if you go even further, it's like, nah, I didn't need to say who these were. But anyway, um, I think it's red and orange. Hey, red, where's our script? Sorry, uh, I ran out of time. Um, 
He really spent all day making overdone cheesy lines for Genie and Alien? No. And then orange, yellow is starting to turn red, which I thought was a really nice touch because it's like the one way to show that they're siblings is orange has the capacity to become red, um, but it's just because she's angry, which also implies that like red has kind of got a Bruce Banner thing going where he's always angry. <laughs> um, anyway, I spent all day making a Destructo bot in the last five minutes. Oh, in the last five minutes. I don't know. Anyway, something about I spent all day making a Destructo bot. I scribbled out the line for some reason. And he hits the button, and then lasers go pachoo -choo 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 all around them, and Orange is like shocked. And then this Destructo bot appears that I guess that they were in. Or no, she jumps in, that's what it was. She was here, and then she's gonna go bloop and appear there and go, shotgun! Um, I spent all day working on a Destructo bot, and in the last five minutes on those scripts. And the same can probably be said about our design team. Well, joke's on you, your design team never finished the episode. Anyway, then Orange pops into Shotgun. So I guess the, it was supposed to be no line here. He's just supposed to hit the button, shoot them with lasers, and then say, I spent all day working on Destructobot. So the comic timing is like, who spent all day working on blah, 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 blah? No. Pew! I spent all day working on Destructobot. So anyway, there's that. And then... They all are running from the Destructo bot, and it's a happy birthday Cammy. So as to imply that red and orange, even though they're crazy sick people, they still have an urge to take over the world and the entire show. And everybody, yeah, and that's it. That's that's the end. Um, I kind of, I think I'll end it on this slide. Um, yeah, I've kind of lost quite a few episodes, and it really hurt maybe ten years ago, but. I'm happy to have what I have still, and I think by recording this I unlocked a lot of memories, and this way I don't need to work as hard to remember them, because I recorded it. But uh, it meant really a lot to me making these silly episodes and sharing them with my friends and family and having them make up their own characters and things. Um, yeah, and in a weird way these characters still are in my life. Like I have, a, I have a set of cups in my kitchen with like each of the main cast etched on them, and um, I draw Alien from time to time. If anything, he's my mascot in this world. But um, thanks for watching. And I assume most of the people watching this are people who watch the old Crazy Stick people and kind of miss it. And I'm sorry that I don't have any of like, the really good episodes, but I kind of have a hunch that they're a little similar to what you already saw. <laughs> I do think that the... Uh, I think they got cleaner and prettier. I don't know. But anyway... Thanks for watching. Um, have a good one.